Greetings to my radio listening audience today. Praise God Almighty. What a blessing it is to be in the studio today to come forth with Matters of the Heart radio broadcast today with your host, Princess Denise Wright. Truly, it is a blessing because we have a great program scheduled today. I cannot wait to introduce my guest speaker today. She's sitting right here next to me on the right side, but you'll hear from her in just a few minutes. <laughs> so I just want to thank each and every one of you that have tuned in, uh, praying that you'll keep it locked right there for the next 60 minutes that we go forth with this broadcast because you don't want to miss anything. We have some great information for you today. Now, in a matter of minutes, we're gonna I'm going to introduce my uh, special guest, but before I introduce her, I'd like to go ahead and open up the radio broadcast with uh, what I generally do on each occasion is to welcome this, the Spirit of the Lord this morning. i put it, let me change that, not this morning, this afternoon, to welcome the Spirit of the living God into the midst as I open up with a short prayer. So if you just listen attentively for just a couple of minutes, you'll be blessed. So with that being said, I just want to open up with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this blessed Saturday, Lord. Praise God Almighty. And we thank you, Lord, today that we've been blessed to be in the studio today and truly just inform those that are going through anything, even if you're uh, concerned about just listening to the, the music or listening to what they're going to be talking about today because you will find out in just a few minutes, someone is going to be speaking to you and giving you some good news. And you're going to want to make sure you make contact with them because it's going to be a great broadcast. And what I've already heard, I cannot wait to hear it myself. So with that being said, we just thank you, Heavenly Father, for this blessed day that those that are traveling on the highways and byways, praying for their safety, their travels, no incidents or accidents will happen to them. There's so much going on right now, Lord, in our world where so many are just uh, being taken out each and every day. And so we're just praying because sometimes we're very taken by what is happening. But guess what? God is never shocked, never surprised. He already knows what's going to happen on any given day. So with that being said, I just pray that God will cover all of you all today that uh, truly God uh, put in your spirit today of someone that you can call and encourage them through the word of God. Someone that you know is truly, truly going through, but that may not be able to have food on their table, but whatever it is that you will do what God is calling you to do, that will be a blessing in itself because that's why God blesses us each and every day with daily benefits. That's right. Daily assignments to help others standing in the need of prayer. And with that being said, we just thank God today for this broadcast as we get ready to go forth and may God bless each and every one of you. And tomorrow, if there is, you're going to church, that will be a blessing. If not, there are so many um, broadcasts that are on Facebook for you to listen to radio ministries that will be going forth tomorrow. So count it a blessing. Don't seem, don't make it seem like, no, there's nowhere you can go that you can't hear the word today because you can each and every day. And God bless each and every one of you. Love you to life from Princess Denise Wright. God bless you. Amen. So my radio listening audience, we're ready to introduce my guest speaker today that is in the studio with me and her name just happens to be let me see what's her name ramona valentine <laughs> i just had to say that ramona ramona valentine yes isn't that a beautiful name yes it is i love it ramona valentine and she's going to be coming forth at this time uh to bring give you some very pertinent information about what may be a desire of your heart right now. And you probably would have never expected that this woman would be on the radio with me today, but be giving you some news that you've been waiting on for a long time. Yes, and she got some good information. Ramona, I know that 
it is that time came that you can tell them about something that they probably been praying about for years and where to go and how can I get this done and how can I do this? And truly she got some good information being a long, a long, uh, a long, let me see, a, what do you mean? Loan officer. Loan officer. She's a loan officer. Are you ready to listen to what Ramona has to say? Well, I know I'm ready. Come on, Ramona. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, yes. Thanks for having me on the show today. Ramona. Again, my name is Ramona Valentine. I am a mortgage loan officer. Um, today, I'm going to dispel some of the common myths about getting a loan for your first home. So first of all, you do not have to have 20% down. There are programs out there that you can put 1% down, 3% down, 3.5% down. And there are some amazing programs that have grant down payment and um, other types of down payment assistance. All right. That sounds good already. I'm giving you a hand already. <laughs> NMLS 2379656. Uh, a lot of people have heard of the Hometown Heroes. And what those, what that program, uh, it it does help people who are uh, firemen, police officers, nurses, different professions. There's a, a long list of professions that that uh, money can help you. That is Florida only. So if you're out there in another state. Um, that is uh, for people who are buying homes in Florida, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. So let me tell you um, about, there are some government programs as well. So if anybody is interested in FHA, what that is, um, it's backed by um, the government. You, HUD, okay, so you... With that, you will put three and a half percent down. Um, they're also what you have to have. Um, you do not have to have the best of credit. That's another myth that you have to have great credit in order to get a home loan. Mm -hmm. You do not. Okay. So what you need is a minimum score. Mm -hmm. There are loans that you can get with a 580 credit score. So of course, the higher the credit score, the lower your loan is. Yeah, the mm -hmm. lower the the monthly payment will be. Okay. So, what you want to do is, if you do not have at least a 580 score, there are people that you can call that will help improve your credit. Okay. So you can also Google that. Um, it doesn't take very long to improve that credit. Just get on it now. Um, within a few months or so, <clears throat> get that credit score up, and um, you're you're in business. So, the VA loans. Let me talk about those for just a second, and then we'll talk a little bit more in depth for each. A VA loan is for anyone who was a veteran, U.S. veteran. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So also Coast Guard. Okay. So if if you have at least a 580 credit score with that, you can get 100% financing. In other words, you don't pay anything down. And we also have the USDA loans. Now, a lot of people think that USDA means rural only. Mm -hmm. Of course, it does encompass rural properties. Mm -hmm. But there are some urban properties that are included in that. And you can get those for 100% uh, um, financing. So nothing down, okay? So USDA, VA, zero down payment. Um, with the USDA, you can actually go online and search USDA properties. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, to see which ones are, are located in the city. And if you don't mind moving to a rural area, some people want to get out of the city. Um, it's easy; Those are easier to find, the rural ones. But um, I looked uh, about a week ago, and I did see one in Tampa. Mm -hmm. 
um, and Haines City and some of those areas up in uh, Polk, uh, Pasco County, um, Polk and Pasco County. So um, though there are plenty up that way. Sounds good to me. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, you know, I'm sure some of your listeners are in Tampa. So, you know, there, like I said, there is a, a couple of Tampa properties available. Okay. Okay. That sounds so, very interesting, uh, Ramona, because I, if I recall, uh, 1976, uh, when I had got married, I remember we had a VA loan as well, too. Didn't have to put down anything at all. Just was able to go forth. And those houses were so reasonable at that time. But you just you're just reminding me, going way down the road a little bit, that it was very economical then and I'm sure it may be very economical for people right now. So thank you. Yes. Um so yes, I'm glad you mentioned your great experience with that. So um home prices, a lot of people say, Okay, home prices have gone up. However, you can still get homes for lower than what a lot of people are renting right now. Mm -hmm. And you were saying that you have a relative that's paying 2800 a month for, mm -hmm. uh, what is that, a one bedroom or uh, two bedroom? Three bedrooms. Three bedrooms, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. $2,800 is a lot of money. Yes, to, it is. It is. So you can definitely get mortgages for much lower than that. Mm -hmm. so, um, in most cases, it's going to be lower than what you're paying for rent still, okay? So um, I know a lot of great real realtors out there that can help you if you want to uh, look in that, look in your price range. Mm -hmm. um, but the first thing you want to do, um, if you are interested in purchasing a home, you want to get what's called a pre-approval. Now, pre-approval, you get together certain documents, um, a list, list of documents. With the pre-approval, it says that you're ready to buy as soon as you see something. And with the way the market is, as soon as something goes on the market, it's bought quickly, I would recommend getting the pre-approval first. Okay. So that way, when you get out there and you see something you want, you can put an offer on it, start your contract, and you're already uh, got the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. The problem with just going out there looking, um, a lot of realtors won't even um, take you looking unless you've got either a pre-qualification or a pre-approval because it could be a waste of their time. So some will not. So uh, the difference between the pre-approval and the pre-qualification, the pre-qualification, mm -hmm. you don't show any documents. You just let me know how much you make per month, and we go from there. Okay. Now, with that, mm -hmm. I just give you a ballpark figure of what you can afford in a home. It is not written in stone. So, um, and it also does not make it easy for you to go out there and shop and then put a contract because by the time you've gone through the pre approval, and gotten your loan, that house is more than likely going to be sold. Mm -hmm. So if you want to avoid that, get the pre-approval first and then go shopping with your realtor. Okay. And, and then you can, you have a better chance of getting that home that you want because they know you've already got the loan process in and you're, you're serious about it. Okay. Do so you, do you generally would have had to, uh, even if you got an approval, do you are you putting down a down payment with the approval or how no? Did it go? Okay. No, okay. a pre-approval just says your everything's in order. Mm -hmm. Your your income has been checked. Your everything has been checked, um, and that you do have the finances and are ready to go. Okay, that's what that means. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now. When you get to the loan process, um, so once you put your contract in for the home that you want, and then um, you decide on a closing date, mm -hmm. okay, we'll set a closing date. Mm -hmm. When you come to closing, that's when you bring your down payment money. Oh, yes. Okay. Now, and closing costs. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of programs that also pay for the closing costs. So I can help 
people with that. You know, I can help them with the down payment assistance and with the closing cost assistance. Yes. So they can bring minimum to the table, mm -hmm. you know? So, oh, yeah. Right. So let me tell you about the, um, the FHA seems to be the most popular for people with the lower credit scores, okay? So people with five, even as low as a 550 credit score can actually get a FHA. However, somebody with a 580 score will have to put more down payment. Okay. So if you've got a 550 mm -hmm. and you have 10% to put down, you can get that. All right. However, if you just increase your credit score 30 points to 580, then you can put three and a half percent down. Much better, right? Yes. Three and a half percent as mm -hmm. opposed to 10 percent. All righty. So one of the things that we look at too are your debt to income ratio. So, you know, you want to pay off those small bills that you have there. You know, oh, yeah. If you have any small bills that you can pay off, I would recommend doing that. So um, the minimum loan amount on an FHA is going to be um, with, it's going to be 75000 Okay. So uh, some people are buying um, modular homes. Mm -hmm. That's a good, you know, that's a good alternative. It will still bring, it will bring your um, rent payments down mm -hmm. in most cases a lot, by a lot. So um, I know a few people that, that bought beautiful brand new modular homes. Oh, yeah. And it was within their price range. Mm -hmm. and, so, the, and a lot of them are very nice inside, too. They are. Mm -hmm. the, the, the brand new, they, they look like a, a regular home mm -hmm. on the inside. So, um, so now with the VA program. Now, the VA program, um, if you've got a 600 credit score, you actually can get a loan up to one million dollars. Hmm. You um, don't. You say so? Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> well, so. wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, there are some other programs that are available. If and and if anyone has any questions, um. Can we let them call in and ask? Oh, yes, okay. absolutely. All right. And um, so there, if you don't have, let's say you haven't worked in a specific job for two years, there are programs mm -hmm. that as long as you were in the same profession, let's say you were in nursing uh -huh. or at a nursing home, CNA. Okay, so you went to one nursing home? Excuse me. Uh, you didn't get a number out that if folks want to call in sure. to participate, we, it's 727-637-2416. And I'll repeat that again. That's 727-637-2416. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Thank you okay. for that. Uh -huh. So... Um, if you do not have two years in on one particular job, you still can get a loan as long as it was in the same profession. So if you were at um, a CNA at one nursing home and, and you were there for eight months and then you went, you got a job at another nursing home and you were there for 12 months, um, you know, or excuse me, 14 months, that would make up that two year difference in the same profession. Mm, okay. Okay. So a lot of people think they have to be at the same job for two years. And that's a myth too. Um, it's the same profession for two years. Okay. Well, let me just ask you a question. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Ramona, um, like if husband and wife, okay, let's just say if the wife is not working and the husband is uh would they would would they be qualified at least on the, what the salary is for the husband because i think the wife is still looking for a job great so, great question um the husband can be the sole borrower mm -hmm. in that particular case mm -hmm. if um if 
one of your spouses does not have an income, uh -huh. you don't want to make them a co-borrower. Okay. Okay. Um, because they don't have uh, an income to come to the table with. Exactly. Right. So then the husband would be the borrower, the sole borrower. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the whole thing would be, the whole loan would be based on his income. On his income. Okay. Yes. Mm, all righty. That's a great question. It is because I'm going to uh, let my uh, friend know about this when I talk to her maybe later on today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Great. Absolutely. Great. And if anybody has any questions they think of later, I want to give you my phone number, my um, uh, personal uh, work number. It's a cell number, 727-241-9230. You can text or call that number, okay? And so a lot of people think of questions later. Oh, I should have asked that. And um, so that's a way of you reaching me at a later time. And if you're interested in um, seeing if you qualify for a loan or interested in the down payment assistance, and I'll give you that number one more time, 727-241-9230. Okay. That's right. And hopefully we'll have some callers on the next uh, session if they don't call in right now. Once we go to commercial break, come back. I bet someone would be ready to call in, if not before we get off the air right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, there, there are what is called non-qualified uh, mortgage loans, and those are for people that may um, not have a credit score at all. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you can actually qualify with no credit score in certain programs. Um what about individuals that's got 750, that kind of credit score? Okay, of course. They're going to get the best <laughs> best rates, the lowest oh, payments. Okay. Of course, the high credit scores, are, of, of course, are going to get the best rates and the, and the lowest payments. Okay. So, um, yes. Um, what, you know, and those are the people that um, usually are ready to, purchase a home mm -hmm. um, and many of them are going in the conventional programs. The conventional loans are backed by um, non-governmental organizations. Of pro probably a lot of people have heard of them. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. Yeah. Um, the, the, they're also um, associated with student loans and, and different things like that. But um, but those are the conventional homes, and once they're backed by those, they, those people that have the higher scores, scores uh -huh. can get the backed by them, and okay. of course it brings the payments down for them. So, oh, um, oh and you can also, um, if if you are going for that FHA three and a half percent, gift funds are allowed. So let's say someone's getting married mm -hmm. and everybody chips in to give them money. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually use gift fun gift funds. You just have to show where it's coming from, who okay. it's coming from, whether it's Aunt Susie or um, your stepsister or whoever. It can be anyone. It can actually be an employer. Mm -hmm. So it can be anyone in your circle. You know, that's a re relative, a foster child, um, anybody, mm -hmm. foster parent. Um, so, you and, know. And so a gift fund, that is just what it, it, any individual that just wants to uh, sub, uh, bless you with some, some money or is it a gift card or what is it? Gift funds in uh -huh. the in are allowed for mortgages. Okay, so I am saying that suppose someone chooses an FHA loan. Okay, that's three point five percent down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they can actually use gift funds for that down three point five percent down or any portion of that. Okay, that's what I'm I'm saying. Oh, sounds good. So okay. yeah, and it it just has to be someone in your you know immediate circle like an employer or um, it could be a relative even stepchildren 
foster any of that. Foster parent. It could be whatever anyone. they want to do. They can make it happen, huh? Yes. Oh, that's great. Ooh, sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, and also, um, yeah. Because a lot of people um, also think there's another myth that you have to be at a specific place for two years. You do not. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually get, there are some non-qualified loans that mm -hmm. you can get uh, with no housing history required. Okay, mm -hmm. of course, you're going to have to put more down. Oh, okay. All righty. Well, we're going to get ready to go to commercial break. We'll be back in about three or four minutes. So for those of you that are listening, keep it locked right there. We'll be back in about four minutes. All right.